what's good everybody it's your boy Osei Duke Jackson back at it again with another episode of, 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 of the celebrity junk and guys your boy Trey song I believe he's a simp. Okay, I believe he's a simp. Um, I don't really like the brother because he seems a little. Hmm, he seems a little funny style to me. I, I just he seemed like he just funny acting family. I I just can't trust somebody like him, brothers. But you know he he's a popular singer. You know he does things in the black community. Now, I mean, he is, you know, very left-leaning and stuff like that, which I don't like people like that. But you know what? We're still black, right? And so I will salute the brother for his involvement. In any way, whether it's liberal or conservative um, or more pro-black, I salute it. I I do want to talk to about this, though, that he has been going through some allegations from Kiki Palmer to Selena Powell, and we know Selena Powell and Snoop Dogg situation was crazy, and then Eliza, all right, Eliza, she's an OnlyFans model. Now, I want to talk about the Eliza uh, uh, or Eliza thing, because she's the same chick that said that she, you know, gave top to seven different Phoenix Suns players at the same time. Um... Which is very interesting because the Phoenix Suns suck. And that really would 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 talk about why. Because they're too busy doing this. But, you know, there's allegations that, you know, she made that he wouldn't uh, let her leave the, the place she was staying at. You know, and again, she's a you know, non, non-black woman. Here's another lady, uh, Selena Powell, saying the same thing. Kiki Palmer accuses him of, you know, she was being intimidated during the shoot. And Trey Songz responds, okay? He responds to all of these allegations. And he says that, you know, y'all stay ready to believe a bird, all right? Basically saying that these broads are lying. And he says this. He says this. I usually stay quiet on this, but I felt that in many ways, the movement to fight for the women who actually have suffered harassment and abuse on various levels has been hijacked or those who find it convenient for themselves to come out, to come up as they seek to destroy someone's life. Now guys, you know, I I, I have to tread lightly on this because with Eliza, Eliza and the other lady, I don't know. I would say that they're lying. All right. I would say that they're lying because they have the most to come up with and they're just thotting it up and they're no talent. So I I wouldn't have any reason to believe them. Kiki Palmer though might be a little different because she's on the same level or similar level as him. But, um, you know, like and all these women are saying that he's been a, a aggressively, like, like, like physically aggressive. Like, you know, um, another woman said that, you know, he, he hit her, or choked her, stuff like that, tried to leave. So all these women are saying something very similar about Trey Songs. There's also something about him going on in Miami. So there's a lot of evidence or allegations against him. I wouldn't think all of them are wrong. Okay. Maybe some of them. I will say this to guys. You got to be very careful. Who you're dealing with. As you blow up. Because if you're an average dude, nobody cares. All right. When you become Trey songs, everybody cares. And when you're to this level, 
of success, black men. A lot of women are going to come after you. All right. Black, white, Hispanic, otherwise. They're going to be after you. They're going to want to date you. You know, you think that people are not going to know that you're successful, that you don't have money. Somebody's going to know. All right. And what's going to happen is that somebody's going to be looking for an opportunity to say you did this or did that. Somebody's going to want to get you drunk, you know, get you something like that. And a lot of times I feel that people like Trey Songs feel like they just can't be touched, okay? With at least some of these allegations. I think that some of them has to have some truth to it. I think that what's happening is, is that a lot of guys think that, you know, I'm Trey Songs. Women want me everywhere. I'm entitled. I, I can't be touched. I'm too big. I, I'm too big to fail. And as we see from singers much more talented than him and much more accomplished, like R. Kelly, you, you're never too big to fail. Guys have to really start protecting themselves from situations, even in the continent of Africa. I mean, I mean, you know, in Uganda, there's there's nothing that protects, you know, um, ladies like like it does in the, in the States. I'm always, for the most part, to myself. And that's for my, my protection. Poland, even worse. Poland's even worse. And, and, and for the brothers out there that are out here doing things and you're out here making it in the world, I, I, I beseech that you really understand that the more successful you are, the more disciplined you got to be with women. Back in the 80s, 90s, 2000s, the more successful you are, the more you can mess around, the more thoughts you can have. You, it's actually the opposite now. You, you cannot do the things that you used to be able to do back in those days. If you want to do stuff like he's accused of doing, and I'm not talking about doing it at all because it's never right, but I mean messing with all of these women. I thought I thought he was supposed to be married or something like that. But you need to go to the DR, Brazil, Philippines, and you know if you want to mess with different chicks like that, then you can do it over there. They have a culture for that. You can pay for it and all that other stuff. In America, you're not going to be able to do that. In this day and age where a woman can say this and that, having a whole bunch of thotties and groupies and stuff like that, OnlyFans models, IG models, you guys can't do that. You got to play the game very safe. All right? The world is getting very, very liberalized. In America, you can't play like that, family. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's not going to work, brothers. I want black men to hear my voice on this. It will not work. It will not work. It won't work. It won't work, family. And you're going to be in big trouble. And if they come out and they say this about you, people are going to believe them. They could be lying. All right? They could be lying. So I just want to, you know, let you know that, brothers and sisters, you know, we really need to... Uh, especially the black men out there. Guys, protect yourself. Certain types of women you can't mess with, man. Most of them you can't. If you have one or two or something like that, still be careful. It only takes one time. Guys, it's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Subscribe at the bell. I really appreciate you for all that you do. Guys, um... Check me out on patreon.com backslash Negro Manosphere. First comment pinned to the top. Black men have perfect t-shirts up there. All this information is there, family. I really thank you for all that you do, guys. Appreciate you. And as you know, 
The buffoon remains at an all-time high. I'm out.